Alrighty then. Welcome back to another Give It A Shot. And we're outside again because it's nice out in a way. Yeah. It's, it's, it's cold, but it's nice. Yep. It's not windy and stuff. Nope. So it's pretty yeah, cool. Yeah, it's actually quite yeah. nice out. So, Chris is enjoying his nice four day weekend. Yeah. I'm enjoying my nice Saturday. Yeah. So. Yeah, he had to. <laughs> He had to uh, Black entertain people at where, at where he works yeah. for Black Friday and stuff like that. He had to do all the food and everything. So yeah, he was he's saying he was a uh, it was hard work. So we get to <laughs> hurt my hand. We get to enjoy some beers today. So uh, yeah. so it's a Saturday. So what we got here is Tipsy Toboggan Winter Ale. Winter Ale, and it is by Two Beers Brewing Company. I know that's weird, right? Yeah. But you know what's interesting is that it's. it's <laughs> It says that there's, you're supposed to taste, uh, where's my glasses? Ah, uh, they, they make the writing so small for old people. Hold on. Old people and people that don't know how to read very well. <laughs> and, uh, so they go, uh, dark and toasty. This warming winter ale offers notes of chocolate, date, plum, and orange with a dash of hops. The deep dark color and full flavored finish pair perfectly with winter nights, outdoor adventures, and holiday celebrations. Hell yeah. So this has got six 12 ounce cans in there. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I've, I've never tried any beer from, from, from these guys. I've never so, heard of them before. Did we find out what the ABB and all that kind of stuff was? Yeah, yeah, sit it on the front. Uh, is it on the front? Oh, oh yeah, down here. So we're looking at 62 IBUs. 62 IBUs. And 6.8% alcohol by volume. Which actually is the highest one that we've had today, which is very weird. Yeah. Because normally our alcohol by volume and beers that we've been tasting are like up there in eight and nine. And I just randomly grabbed this beer. It's like, you know, yeah. I, I just wanted, I want a beer to be in the fridge. It's like, well, I've never, <laughs> seriously. Like, well, okay, so I'll grab this one. I've never had it before. Yeah. Snag it. I like, it might be the best one I've ever had, ever. I like their slogan. Just, uh, life is just a little more honest after two beers. <laughs> I like their slogan. They're probably right about that. Yep. <laughs> Luda's all hogging up your, your, your footstool. <laughs> yeah. That's okay. Yeah. He might feel a little bit of warmth from coming from this little radiator that we got here. Yeah. All right. Like, two beers. That's for me. So it's tipsy. So if you're ever doing a, a toboggan, you don't want your toboggan to be a tipsy toboggan, I guess. But uh, but they're saying, yeah, go for it. <laughs> well, <laughs> I'd say no. Well, if you think about it, like what makes a toboggan tipsy is if you've had two beers. Two beers. <laughs> <laughs> One beer's fine. <laughs> yeah, it's only two that makes them. <laughs> so uh, can resembles the yeah. the carton. So here notes of chocolate, date, plum, and orange. That's a lot. That's a lot of different tastes. Yeah, so I'm kind of wondering about that orange. Maybe there's going to be some uh, mm -hmm. coriander, some you know, some citrus and stuff yeah. in there. So. so go for it, pour it. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, let's pop a top. As pop a top. as and as, this actually is popping a top too. So. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but as the uh, our other guy that I like watching, uh, Boon, uh, Backwood Boondock Brew Backwood View, Boondock he says, Brew "Let's you. pop a top." <laughs> Yeah, so you heard me right. A little shout out to somebody that I like watching. <laughs> All right. Just go check out his channel. The Backwood Brew. <laughs> Backwood Brew Duck Brew View. <laughs> I can't say that stuff because I'm not Southern. All right. Well, we've also had a couple of beers today. so. Well, it's not just that. Even yeah. if I was sober, I always have trouble saying that. So it says that it's uh, the deep dark color and full flavored finish. So well, it is dark color. super dark right it now. It is. Yeah, I mean, wow, I cannot see through that. And the light we have out here is, 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 is the sun's not shining or nothing, but yeah. it should be enough to be able to see through this, and I cannot. Yeah. I mean, just pouring it, it looks nice and dark. Yeah. Nice brownish. What do you think Yet, of the smell of this, Ludo? Yet again, another... Hey, Ludo. Another porter for us. You smell this, Ludo? Hey. Psst. Yeah. Got a lot of. What do you think? Yeah. I just want to. I just want to smell that. Man. Does that smell good? Look at that. He's like, oh, that smells pretty good. <laughs> yeah. If I like, yeah. if I like beer, I'd drink that. He's like, I like the smell, which means they're probably not going to give it to me. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, I smell. So. It's it's hard to get a. It just kind of smells porterish, like the yeah. little nutty flavor. Right. I get that nuttiness. Flavor. 
flavor or smell? A little bit of that, like a like a bread yeast smell yeah. to it. And, and I, I would expect that. So, but I don't get like anything else right now. I don't have a runny nose or nothing, but I, I can't get a whole lot of. No. I don't get the dates or orange or anything like that from the smell. Not really. That, that might yet, be that might be something we get in the taste. Yeah. So. It smells very porter-like. Yeah. The 62 IBU, I nice think, is... Head on it. I smell that strength. Uh, uh, let's see if it tastes like that. So let's yeah. give it a shot. Cheers. Yeah, porter. I get that nutty porter. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, roast That roasted malts going on. Now I'm going to try to search for the, the dates. You know what? I'm not getting it. Dried fruit doesn't taste like regular fruit if you if you know that. So so you yeah. get that crunchy dried fruit like a like I don't know if you eat dates, but I I don't eat dates anymore. Not that but, often. But uh, when I was a kid, I, you know, yeah, we had dates. Sometimes we'd get dates in the house. Um, a hint of the the orange. Yeah, maybe a very small because the orange is, is there's tarty. Like a, yeah, there's a little of, citrus. Like a tartness to it. Yeah. But mostly, I I'm getting the roasted, roast or dark yeah. dark roasted malt from from what most porters have. Definitely. Yeah. So right now, this is your your typical porter mm-hmm. taste to it. Not the uh, not everything they're saying. I was I was I was expecting this to taste like a Dr Pepper. So many flavors coming at you at once, where it's kind of hard to to, to pinpoint what's going on. At the same time, chocolate. Any, at any the same time, they, they might be there, but we're just not good enough to detect it. Oh, Maybe. That, that could be there. Uh, other connoisseurs would be like, oh, yeah, I get it. Um, sorry about that. See, I don't even really taste the, the chocolate. Yeah. I don't get the chocolate either. Yeah. Well, you know what? Let's, let's try it with some salty snacks. Mm-hmm. That could, that could change uh, everything. Yeah. See if that'll uh, open our taste buds and all of a sudden, boom, there it all is. I think There's I'm going to eat this one where I eat the shell. Last you episode, the I just thing. cracked it open. Yeah. This one, I'm going to eat the whole thing. eat the whole thing that's what she said but she lies i never used to eat that until i saw you know, there was a movie that had uh johnny depp in it and he was an indian and the kid was eating the the peanuts with the shell on him. I'm like what the hell is he doing oh yeah you could totally do that it's like i never thought of that i always thought of it as like hey if you, you can eat it if you want but no have fun pooping it out later. <laughs> it's not. It's not. It's, I mean, not it's, it's not really an issue. So yeah. Okay. Got that. Mm-hmm. It actually tastes pretty good. If you haven't never done that, if you think that's weird, try it. Mm-hmm. Pretty good. All right. <clears throat> All right. Salt is next. See if it changes things. Let's give it a shot. The dry fruit kind of comes out a little bit. But that still kind of has a porter yeah. feel to it, Just though. that I nice mean, roasty, malted, yeah. uh, nutty um, background taste. Just It just tastes like a nice porter. Yeah. So, I'm, I think, not getting, I'm not getting a whole I'm lot of I'm feeling like things. they were reaching that, hey, you're going to taste these things. They didn't add them, but they're saying you're going to re- you're gonna taste it, taste these things. I, I, I don't think so. Yeah. It just tastes like I'm a I'm not nice. getting it. Yeah. I'm not getting it. It's a nice medium, excuse me, medium strength. Porter. Where, uh, where's this at, anyways? Ohio. Ohio. Avenue. Oh, I'm sorry. No, that's right. It's in Seattle, Washington. So it's, it's another <laughs> our neck of the woods brewing right. company again. All right. Huh. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm gonna say it's a good porter. Yeah. It's tasty. It has a, a nice, rich flavor to it, as in roastiness yep. and whatnot. Um, everything they're boasting about it, I'm not getting. Me either. Uh, I don't know if that's because you know, I've already had a few today. But I'm, 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 I'm going to say I've had two beers at least, and it's making me honest. I don't think I don't think that we've wrecked our taste buds over that. I don't think so. I mean, you can palate really? wreck your taste buds with, with some IPAs and stuff. Yeah, yeah. I don't think that we did that, though. But, um, like, right now, I, it, if it's in there, it's so subtle, you don't yeah. even re- realize it's there. Agreed. 
which there is a point in time to where subtle becomes absence. Yeah. I mean, if it, if it's too freaking subtle and you don't taste it, then it's it's might as well not even be right. there. You know. I, I I'm not disappointed that I don't taste the orange. It's, you know, I'm not looking for that. I was kind of looking forward to that taste of the of the dried fruit, like the date or whatever. I don't really get that either. What I, I do get is a nice nutty porter, yeah. um, roasted, multi yeah. taste. So it, it 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 is a wonderful porter. Yeah. I just think that they kind of red in over red in between the it. lines. Yeah. yeah. I don't know what what else you might taste in there? Maybe mm. we just got a a batch where it was a lot more subtle than they wanted it to be. Maybe. Maybe some of their other batches are a little bit more. It's more in yeah, there. Yeah, that, that could so. happen. I think it's really good the way it is. So if you guys are watching this from Two, uh, two Beer Groom Company, add a little bit more. Yeah. Whatever, whatever it is that you're doing that you think gives it the, uh, the, the dates and whatnot, just add a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Trying to get it to be not so subtle. Otherwise, it's just your typical porter. Yeah, we're not really getting it. If that's what this is meant to be. And it, I think it's... It's I, meant to be a winter ale. Yeah, I, I think it's, it's good. It's not meant to be a porter. It's meant to be a winter ale. Yeah, I, I think it's it's wonderful the way it is. I just can't taste those things that they're saying. So, I like it. So, I still give it a thumbs up. I'm not going to slam this because it's 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 too rich. Yeah. No, I'm not going to slam it. But... Uh, I'll slam it. Let's pretend, that we, let's pretend that I slammed it. Yeah, I'll <laughs> slam it for the both of us. All right. Uh, is it, actually, there's quite a bit in there to slam. So, I'm going to slam it. I'll let you know if I do. I'm like, Chris, you gotta do it. It's totally there. You just, you, you gotta try it. All right. Yeah. Uh, besides that, though, I agree with Chris. It is a delicious beer. Yeah. So there's that. How All much right. was it? Do you remember? Um, it was only like uh, average. Pricing. Yeah, it was like eight or nine dollars for a six pack. So average pricing. Yeah. I got it at a store that we call Winco around here. I don't know if Winco. Oh, you got it from Winco. Yeah, I don't know if it's nationwide, but yeah, I got it from Winco. Okay. All right. Here I go. It didn't help? Not really. Oh. It's a, it's a delicious porter tasting <laughs> from a winter ale. That's odd. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> but, yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 I, still, I give it... Uh, it's, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's, okay. it's a good beer. It's a good beer. It is, it's nothing spectacular. It's nothing to write home to mom about. Yeah. <laughs> mom, I had this beer today. OMG. <laughs> you will not believe. <laughs> LOL. But, uh, but, hey. So... Congratulations to Two Beers Brewing yeah. Company. You guys made a delicious beer. So, yeah, exactly. So it's seasonal. Then I guess this is going to be something you see yeah. all year round. Yeah. And uh, I think they did a good job. It's it's a it's a fabulous porter. Yeah. Um, Even though it's over, winter ale. Yeah. It, 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 yeah. <laughs> it's not horribly expensive. If you see it, uh, pick it up. Yeah. I think you'll enjoy it. So thanks for watching this episode of the Give It a Shot. We're outdoors. We're doing it. You're having fun. Yeah. Chris is eating whole peanuts. I am. <laughs> so, uh, if you <clears throat> if you subscribe, thanks for doing that. If you haven't subscribed, uh, go ahead and do that now. And, uh, and click that little bell so that uh, you're notified of the new episodes that we do. We don't only do beer reviews. We do all kinds of things. So, you know, stay tuned for whatever happens with Mixed In and give it a shot. So, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Later. Later. Boom. So thank you for watching this episode of Give It A Shot. Hope you liked what you saw. Um, if you'd like to see more, click the like button down below. If you want to help support the channel, uh, click the Patreon page link right here. We'll get right here. If you don't want to miss anything, click the subscribe button right here. Do it. Come on. I know you want to. If you, if you do it, I'll, I'll, I'll strip for you. Oh, maybe. Okay, that's too gay. Sorry. <laughs> Too much. Be sure to add a comment down below if you uh, have more beers in mind, or if you have already tried this beer, you know, tell tell us what you think. If you want a mixed in T-shirt? Go ahead and click the link right here. This will take you to our uh, our merch. Get some cool uh, T-shirts, maybe some underwear. We even have some ladies' underwear. I don't. Why not? <laughs> we have mixed in mugs. We have uh, mixed in T-shirts, and we also have some mixed in. Signs here. <laughs> Mixed in gear. <laughs> uh, there you go. So give us a shot. 
and see you next time.